In contrast to national liberation movements, Palestinian terrorism targets deliberately, institutionally and systematically Arab and Jewish non-combatants, sometimes hitting combatants. Palestinian terrorism is the byproduct of Palestinian hate education, K-12, through which has dominated the Palestinian street since 1993, when it was established by Mahmoud Abbas. Palestinian terrorism, a branch of the 1400-year-old Islamic terrorism, has always sided with anti-US forces, regionally and globally, the Ayatollahs of Iran, Saddam Hussein, Gaddafi, USSR, East Germany, China, North Korea, Cuba, and Venezuela. Palestinian terrorism triggered civil wars in Jordan 1970 and Lebanon 1974 through 1983. It collaborated with Saddam Hussein's oppression of Iraq and invasion of Kuwait, assisted Assad's repression of Syria until 2014, and currently collaborates with Muslim Brotherhood terrorism in Egypt. Palestinian terrorists murdered U.S. ambassador to Sudan in 1973, assisted the 1983 murder of 300 U.S. Marines at the U.S. Embassy and Marine Barracks in Beirut, and have joined Iran's Ayatollahs, the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, and other Islamic terror organizations. The role model and spiritual mentor of bin Laden was a Palestinian, Abdullah Azam. Since the 1993 establishment of the Palestinian Authority, Palestinian terrorism has afflicted the Arabs of Judea, Samaria, and Gaza, causing the flight of most Christians and escalating the emigration of Muslims, 25,000 net emigration from Judea and Samaria in 2014, 20,000 in 2013. Therefore, Palestinians flow to Jerusalem's municipal lines in order to receive Israeli ID cards, social benefits, and human rights. Palestinian terrorism has been a Middle East fixture since the 1920s, murdering Jews and Arabs. The Palestinians collaborated with Nazi Germany and the Communist bloc during World War II and the Cold War, respectively. In 1964, when Jordan was the occupier of East Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, Mahmoud Abbas PLO published the Palestinian National Covenant, a roadmap to exterminate the Jewish state. Mahmoud Abbas' hate education and incitement system has been the most effective production line of terrorists, highlighting the duty to eliminate the infidel Jewish state, the peaceful or military submission of the infidel to Islam, the inadmissibility of infidel sovereignty on lands which are supposedly divinely ordained to Islam, the sublime honor of sacrificing one's life on, the, on behalf of Islam's war against the infidel, and the tenuous nature of agreements concluded with the infidel. Palestinian terrorism is fueled by Mahmoud Abbas' generous financial assistance to terrorists and their families, naming streets, squares, monuments, and sport tournaments in honor of terrorists. Palestinian terrorism highlights the anti-Western, anti-Christian, destabilizing, terroristic nature of the proposed Palestinian state, which would provide a platform for anti-US Islamic terrorists to topple the Hashemite regime in Jordan and the central government in Lebanon, provide tailwind to Islamic terrorism in Egypt, Jordan, Iraq, and the Persian Gulf, bolster the Ayatollah's terrorism and subversion, and offer land and naval access to Iran, Russia, and China. Palestinian terrorism interprets Israeli gestures as weakness, as evidenced by the dramatic increase of Palestinian terrorism following the dramatic Israeli concessions in 1993 and 2005. In order to defeat Palestinian terrorism, it is necessary to shift gears from reaction to preemption and from chasing individual terrorist mosquitoes to draining the terrorist swamp, 
which is the Palestinian hate education and incitement. Any direct and indirect contact, assistance, cooperation with the Palestinian Authority should be preconditioned upon the elimination of hate education and incitement. Palestinian terrorists are institutional, not lone wolves, and are concerned with the existence, not the size, of the infidel Jewish state.